Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for continuing to share my channel. And thank you for tuning in for words of wisdom and education as I travel my trans journey, transitioning from female to male. This is your boy, Hotted Kev. Welcome, everyone. Today, I just want to touch on the topic um, how can you help to be trans inclusive or trans friendly? Or what does it mean to be trans inclusive or trans friendly? Okay, so basically, as a person who is transitioning, some of the things that I would like to see um, persons in the community, friends and families um, help us with or be more accommodative with is um, trying to learn us for who we are right and ac accept us for who we are and help to spread the word about us because you know each one teach one so the more you know about us the more you understand us as a person as a part of society the better you'll be able to assist us for example persons who are stakeholders persons who own their own businesses to be more trans inclusive it means for example starting with the washrooms having a washrooms or a washroom that says male or female put transgenders in a position sometimes where they have to choose a gender there are a lot of trans persons as my previous videos would have defined who is non-binary who is binary what's the fdm and what's the mtf again the fdm female transition into male the mt m tf is the male transition into female and then you have the non-binary the ones who don't take a pronoun or a title or agenda so if a non-binary trans person should come to your organization and your washrooms are just saying male and female that person is forced to have to choose a gender in order to take a leak a number one or a number two or whatever it may be also they have to understand that there are transgenders who go by the male pronoun or the female pronoun and depending on the, the type of services that your business offers, the person will not feel comfortable using the gender that they want to use. For example, I'm very masculine, but a lot of persons still see me as a female. A lot of persons still treat me as a female. So if I should go to, for example, a restaurant and I want to use a male washroom, then the persons who know me as a female who think I am a female will be giving me this look as if I'm in the wrong washroom. On many occasions, I had to deal with people and cases like that. For example, I work as a security guard, and when I go to use the male washroom at different locations, then people will be looking at me like, you're in the wrong washroom. On many occasions, I have to say to people that I can read. I know which washroom I'm in. I choose to use this washroom for a reason. You know, so there are, there are different ways in which um business places and um, employers or persons who own businesses can start to help to be trans inclusive by changing on the washroom just put washroom you don't have to put male or female just put the word washroom and whoever wants to use which one use which one i think they should break down the stereotype in the washrooms in every washroom there should be a urinal for the men or uh, and then there should be the bowls just in case the person who consider themselves to be a female wants to use it. There are men who don't use a urinal when they want to urinate. There are men who would go and use the, the bowl. You know what I mean? And the same time for the for the female the same thing in the in the female washroom or washroom that females use like just remove the female out of it just just let it stay as washroom. So whoever wants to use it feel free and feel comfortable to use it. You know what I mean? For business places like especially the healthcare centers, you go to the healthcare mm -hmm. center and you give them your ID or your health card and the receptionist sometimes they want to ask mm -hmm. you what was your gender at birth. I mean, I don't know if the healthcare system can have a way to, to put on your health card that you're a trans you're a trans person if that's what you go by. So that way, when you go to the receptionist, mm -hmm. that question does not have to be asked in front of everyone else who is in the the waiting room. It's like sometimes it can be embarrassing. Not everyone wants to answer that question. You know what I mean? And there are transgenders mm -hmm. who don't mm -hmm. choose to change their sex. So if a person doesn't choose to change their sex, like how are you going to treat such a person? If the person still wants to identify as a male but doesn't feel like changing their sex, how do you go about being inclusive and helping that person? These are things that um, business business 
persons need to look into. Another thing that I would like for employers and business persons to look into when you're putting up your job postings, you know, I was searching online for some jobs the other day and the jobs are saying male and female. What about the transgender who doesn't take a gender? Would that person feel comfortable to want to apply to any mm -hmm. of those jobs? They might not want to because when they apply to a job like that and they have to go to an interview then at the interview they have to sell themselves they have to say who they are or what they are or what are who they represent that should not be a part of the discussion in the interview personally speaking when i see certain jobs i don't apply to it because going to the interview is going to be another case you'll be interviewed about your personal life and not just the job that you're applying for so it's it's kind of hard so people if you can be trans inclusive as much as possible we would really appreciate it we're tired of fighting for acknowledgement we're tired of fighting to be accepted right now for me i just want to be tolerated you know what i mean because i am living my life i don't care who likes it but i just want people to be more understanding of who i am as a person the sooner you stop referring to me as a she and and using the her pronoun and the female word to call me then the sooner you'll start helping me to embrace my journey i know tomorrow is coming up mother's day is coming up i am a biological parent that's the word i choose to use i am a biological parent yes i was a mother at one point in time but if you're helping me to embrace my transition saying happy mother's day out or like it doesn't really sit well with me it's okay but it's not really okay i cannot change my past i don't want to change my past i have no regrets about my past but can you at least help me to embrace my future that that's what i'm saying i'm moving away from that and moving towards this so i i, I would like if people in my immediate circle just embrace the journey i'm living my truth so if a person who doesn't understand much about trans and trans persons watch my video it helps you to see how to deal with people like me a lot of other persons out there are struggling with the same thing even in the workplace persons are still not using the correct pronoun it's not a nice feeling when someone mispronouns you or misgenders you because you're fighting so hard for people to see you for who you are and then there are people who are seeing you there in your immediate circle but the way how they act is like they really don't care because if they had cared, they wouldn't still be doing the same thing over and over. Like they're doing the same thing over and over. They're making the same mistakes and they're not even apologizing. Like there was this person who referred to me as a she and I gave the person the look. Like, really? And the person was like, you know, I'm, I'm used to you from when you were a girl. So it's going to be hard for me to ever call you a guy. I'm, Shut up. Shut up. What are you, what are you saying? You, you, whatever you what you're saying right now doesn't make any sense because you're you're adding insult to injury you first you mispronounced or misgendered me and now you're gonna justify why you did it come on we, i don't need a justification apologize and move on it would be easy for me to forgive you for using the wrong pronoun rather than for you to be justifying why you did it yes i know it takes time i'm not forcing anybody to accept me i'm not forcing anybody to use the right pronoun that they don't want to use but it's simple if you can't address me by the pronoun i go by do not communicate with me period period because there are people who are personally not letting go of who i was and if you don't let go of who i was then you can never embrace the future with me you're not supposed to be a part of my circle period start by changing the way you have my name in your phone if my name was saved in your phone by by as carlene and i'm now kevin then you need to change the name you want to have it as kevin carlene that's okay but if you're gonna have it as carlene kevin every time the phone rings you're gonna see carlene and then when you answer it you're gonna say yes carlene if you change the name in your phone to kevin carlene as the phone rings you see kevin then you're gonna say yes kevin and every time you're talking to me you look on your phone screen you will see kevin so then in your head you start making the changes but if you have everything the same way it was then there's no change there's no improvement and there's no way you're gonna adjust easily you get what i'm saying so like for persons uh in your immediate circle like 
they have to try to start adjust to the changes and the sooner they start making changes then everybody will come on board little by little you're working with people like i'm not just the only person who's having these issues and for me sometimes i don't even let it bother me because for people who've known me all my life and knew my past then i know it might be challenging for them to just drop it and let go and move on it took mm -hmm. me a while to come out so of course i'm a little lenient with people the persons who get me really aggravated or, or agitated is the ones who do it purposely like i tell you this person is telling me i'm not gonna ever call you kevin because i don't know you as kevin then how about you should not be one of my friends anymore because you're you're ignorant in a negative way you're not trying to embrace the truth or you're not trying to accept me for who i am you're not trying to see where i'm going you're stuck in the old ways and then i just have to leave you there like persons come in your life for different seasons and for different reasons so if i'm moving on my journey and you don't you're not encouraging my journey you're not a part of my journey you're not trying to move along with me then i gotta move on and leave you period i owe it to myself to be happy and to be with the people that make me happy if you're not making me happy you're not a part of my happiness you don't contribute to my growth you don't contribute to my bills or my 24 hours a day living then i can bounce I've, I, I have had different jobs, I've had different places that I live, different addresses. When, when something doesn't work for you, you move on to something else that works. So if you have friends in your life who are not embracing your truth and following you with your journey and being trans-inclusive and, and more trans-friendly, then you just got to move on. It is what it is. So now I'm taking up too much of your time because I'm trying to keep my videos under 15 minutes. So please like. And comment tell me your views if this topic meant anything for you if you learned anything from this topic and I would like if people start making the change the society is changing every day technology is changing every day a lot of is happening around us every day so the more you know about trans persons be more trans inclusive and more trans friendly and help to break down the transphobia and the homophobia and the stereotypes that we face daily and then we can live a better life if you're my friend you have to accept me for who i am be a part of the journey with me learn with me as i am learning whatever i learn i will be passing the knowledge on to people because a lot of persons think they knew a lot when they obviously don't so as you follow my channel there is a lot more to learn I'm breaking up the different topics in small pieces so we all can move on and learn something. Thank you for subscribing as you continue the transition journey with me. This is your boy Kevin, a Ted Kev or Kevin Conscious Davis. Have a wonderful weekend and happy Mother's Day tomorrow to all the mothers out there. Peace.